else. I'm Violet. I um, have decided, no, I have come to the realization in the last couple of years that I am terrible in front of a camera and I need to be better in order to do the online recitals and stuff that I have planned. So this is me um, trying to get comfortable in front of a camera by making a couple of YouTube videos. So I'm Violet. I like to do crafty things. So I decided that I would make uh, something crafty for you and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So for our big like family camping trip, I made a bunch of pins. This is one of them. Oh, focus, come on, there you go, nice. Uh, yeah, maybe I should, there, beautiful, okay. <laughs> I made about, I don't know, 40 of them, of these little guys, characters, of things that don't have eyes, and then put eyes on them, because, yeah, I think it's cute. So... So, yeah. So I'll uh, show you um, one of these pins. I'll, I'll make a pin. Sound good? Yeah? Neat? Alright. Alright. So first, oh my gosh, I said so again. <clears throat> first, I printed out a circle that's the size of the pin maker that I'm using. And then I had to decide what the heck it was I was going to draw because I completely didn't think of this part until just this moment when I was like, oh, um, something that doesn't have eyes, anything, anything that doesn't have eyes that I can put eyes on. I don't know why, but the first thing that came to my head was a popsicle. And so that's what I ended up drawing is a popsicle. <laughs> Alright, so here I am just tracing out um, a little popsicle guy and putting some eyes on a popsicle and of course some arms and some legs because that's how you make him look like he's got, you know, character. Okay, so you can't really see too well because the pencil doesn't show up, so I'm going to go over it again with um, just a black marker, ink it out outline it um, and I started to realize that the spacing on him I don't know was a little bit hmm, boring I guess you could say it felt like there was just him and that was it yay but that's okay I'll fix it later you'll see so once it's all inked I then was going to add color and I have alcohol markers that I super love I enjoy blending very much but again, I made the mistake of not really thinking ahead and just kind of randomly chose this green marker and, oh wait, all right, <laughs> I forgot to erase all the pencil lines, which is an important step because if you don't erase the pencil lines and you put the ink of the marker over the pencil lines and the pencil lines are there for forever and nobody wants to see your sketchy little pencil lines. Okay, so. Erased it. Good. Good job, me. All right. Finish. Come on. Okay. Back to the green marker that I just randomly picked up. I was like, yay, green. I'll do a green background. It's great. And as soon as I put this on, I was like, this is a terrible green. I do not like this green at all. But I'd already put it on and so just kept inking because I couldn't figure out what else to do. Here's what I should have done. I have a sample chart, I guess you could say, of what all of the colors look like that I have, and I should have looked at it first to determine which color I wanted. So here's me trying to figure out if there's like another color I could put over the top, maybe, so that it will kind of lighten the color or change it from this kind of olivey drab green, and it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. And so I just um, kind of floundered a little bit. It's like, this is my first video. I should be able to figure out how to do a stinking background. 
I'll just put this blue on top. It'll be fine. It ends up being really dark. But I decided to just roll with it and color the rest of it. All right, it's all colored. Now we just cut out the circle. I'm using a hole punch, a giant hole punch, I guess you could say. It's a circle cutter punch. This is the same size as my circles so that I don't have to deal with scissors. But as you can see, it's kind of annoying. I still dealt with scissors, but punched it out. There we go. Now it's a beautiful little thing to make into a pin. So I have a um, pin maker machine thing that I got for free from a yard sale. So it is definitely the old version. Um, and here is me absolutely forgetting how to make the pin in the first place. <laughs> I made so many of these and then my brain just died and was like, what goes first? Finally figured it out. Here I am figuring it out. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I remember the order now. And you press it down. You have like three different steps in the pin machine. You do press it down for number one. Then you take it out and you press it down for number two for putting the little back in. Press it down for number two. And then you put it in the big press machine for number three. And I kid you not, I did this so many times and it wasn't working. Oh, there's the big press machine. I don't know why it wasn't working. I assume it's because the camera was on and that's why I started making these videos is because when the camera is on everything fails and it needs to be better. So I was getting so frustrated that I uh, just peeled it off because there was a little glaringly gap. So I peeled it off, ripped it in the process gave up and decided to just make a new one because I did not like that one in the first place. So here I am doing the whole process over again, starting with the pencil, but this time I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna fix everything. Gave him a friend, had better colors, all of it. But we'll speed through the process for this second one. Now it's time to take this much 
better drawing and much better colors and much better composition into a pin. So I go through the process. I remember now how to do step one pretty easily. Um, and then of course, since I still have a camera going, it still kind of messes up a little bit. I can't figure out why. I'm assuming it's the camera. I blame the camera for most everything in this video. Having trouble, definitely having trouble, trying to see if I can fix it. No, just have to start over again. So I start over again. I do it a couple more times. I'm like, this is fine. I can do this. It's not that big of a deal. I've done so many of these. Um, yeah, still having trouble. Oh wait, no, this one works, good, okay. On to step two. Step two, try to do step two. Have all the sorts of trouble again. This is me coming back much later and showing you this beautiful pin that I went and got my son to do and said, hey, can you uh, put this in a pin? Do you remember how to do that? And having him go, of course I remember how to do it. Here you go, ta-da, it's done. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this little pin with these little character guys on it. Um, they can join this guy now. And oh, this guy's always sideways. <laughs> there. Stand up straight, people. There we are. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, maybe I'll do another one. We'll see. Obviously, I am not good enough at it yet, so I'll uh, make some more. Catch you next time.